Okay. I feel like this shot is like nostalgic for today's video because it's almost like this is always my first stop. It says garage door opener. Just like. trash day it's another scorcher what else is new it's summer and it's humid i'm sweating my air conditioner's sweating i didn't bring any drinks with me but they would probably be sweating let's find some treasure today and tomorrow same video let's make it happen let's do it all right so next morning and it is a muggy one this looks like it's going to be a box of metal Well, it looks like. Looks like miscellaneous car parts. Yeah, it's a muggy one. So I guess I can just donate those. If there's nothing good, and I'll take this uh, single stroller, baby jogger, whatever this might be. Can't really use the other stuff. That really smells. In fact, when I was digging through another box, I can smell it. Well, got some clothes to donate. If not, uh, I make a couple dollars on them. I could have used that when I injured my knee. Um, hmm. All sorts of oddball stuff in that one. Don't need the wood crutches. Same poles from last week. Oh, reiterate myself there because I blocked the camera. I think these are the same poles from last week. I left some poles. use of my gloves. Saw the word 
fish. Like a band fish. Um, on one of those posters. I don't know, they might be like concert photos or whatever it might be. You know, band, po band posters. Um, last week I got, I think, a tube there for like shipping. Perfect tube. But on the inside it had a... Uh, somebody made a poster out of one of those roller coasters. You get your photo taken when you, you ride a roller coaster and it like takes a photo out of a random spot. They made a poster out of it. So that's what was on there. So that got thrown out. Got some more stuff right here, looks like. People still, yeah, they still have a dumpster up here. Interesting. I try my best to stay cool today. Got a lot going on the next like 24 hours or so. Hopefully gonna get it all done. Let's see if that all comes into fruition. putting this gate up for salsa right at my steps. So I turn that air conditioner on, she goes upstairs. It's like, I just turn the air conditioner on for you for the whole day, and you leave me. But it's all right. Not having central air is just not the greatest, but it could be a lot of other people who don't have air conditioning. I know some people who uh, just use a fan. I don't know how you do it, but some people do it that way. The last auction I went to, I uh, didn't realize how bad my chairs that I had were. I'm a brother. I'm not sure what that other thing is, but it's not for me. It's not a chair. This is a chair. It says, ooh. Maybe it's not a chair? It says, Wonder Shade, portable sun protector. Huh. It's like a, maybe it's a portable uh, umbrella. It's like a cool noodle. Let's see a cool noodle. sold the other ones. So that's good. That was probably like two weeks ago. I think that was in the same episode that other guy, uh, he stole my metal. I noticed with you two, people like the theatrics. That was all theatrical. Um, Man needs a major bath on the inside. Again, off topic again, but uh, I know this guy has a lot of yard sales. So at one box of M and M stuff or M and M box, it was what looked like quarter glasswork kind of things. Got some oddball metal here. Looks like maybe an ironing board. Starting to get a little bit later out in the morning. Yarning board. Ha! 
haven't seen um, many grills in recent days. I guess grilling season is kind of like, well, we're going to just keep the grill we have for the rest of today or rest of this year, and then we'll get a new one next year. I think we're at that point of summer right now where it's probably how people are thinking. Let's see if this stand is wood. Press board. And it's broken. Oh, it's really broken. Alright, so now we have a little bit of mail day here mixed into the video. Uh, this is from actually Yuri L in uh, Finland. So one of the qu countries I want to go to for sure, Finland, Norway, Sweden, a lot of those countries sound awesome. Um, I don't know, are they, they're pretty much like a cooler kind of country, cooler wise, temperature wise. Uh, but yeah, from Yuri L in Finland. So this says it has three U shirts on it see what's in there thank you for this wonderful package i don't know if there's any notes oh we got a little note here hey taco really enjoy watching your treasure hunts i want to support the channel so here are a couple shirts for you best wishes finland that is remarkable so we got a couple shirts it's crazy like how like i mean i guess you can really buy this stuff anywhere but like how does boston celtics end up all the way out there so that's really neat this is a crew neck oh wow new york ranger sweatshirt really cool i'll add this to my collection um that was actually my favorite logo of all sports logos that liberty logo so that is really neat uh, i'll be wearing that in the fall it is a little bit too warm right now to be wearing that and uh the last shirt Sent from Yuli is a Jack Daniels whiskey shirt. So I'm not very culturalized with, um, I don't know, going to other countries. So I'd I'd feel like like a lot of this stuff is like American gear. Like you'd see this stuff in America. So uh, I guess people wear this stuff elsewhere too. Um, Jack Daniels, I guess, is a most likely a worldwide brand, uh, but seeing some cool sports gear also is really awesome. Thank you for the sweatshirt and a t-shirt. I'll definitely wear that sweatshirt um, in the fall, winter season. It is, like I said, it's a little bit too too warm for that. But um, Yuri L from Finland, thank you for that. Hopefully everything's going well and uh, across the pond, so to speak. And um, thank you for that. Thank you for an awesome gift. I greatly appreciate it. If anyone out there wants to send anything to my P.O. Box, my P.O. Box information is in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. And thanks again, Yuri, for a wonderful care package. Thank you. There's a couple beach chairs out here. I can't remember what I found at this spot. Our beach chairs are a little moldy. A little moldy. All back here, you got a lot of moisture and a lot of trees. Not too great for the beach. I guess they're fine for the beach, but maybe you don't want them to be for the beach. I don't know. That's up for you to decide. They don't. Uh, they don't have those so-called backpack straps, so you can carry like a backpack. Uh, wouldn't be a trash picking video without a chair. Could have bet you a million dollars and made a million dollars.
Okay, so another day wrapped up. Very cool to be able to grab some stuff. I guess I'll go ahead and probably donate some of those clothes in there. This I'll probably try selling. Um, not too often do you find the Wonder Shade. Uh, at first I thought maybe this was um, one of the chair. I saw the, the shade part. I thought this was one of those chairs with the awning on them. Absolute game changer. I bet those are for auctions. Um, super, super warm. I mentioned a million times in this video in the past couple weeks. Uh, I always thought this uh, this warmer temperature kind of came in like middle to late August, but maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe it's kind of a middle to late July thing. Early August. Um, I just don't remember being this hot. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of things. Some stuff for bandaging, bandaging up some cuts and stuff. All sorts of stuff. I don't know. Maybe someone was a nurse or practicing for a nurse. Uh, my cut, well, that's it right now. Doesn't look too bad on camera, but it's indented pretty good. So it's going to leave a good scar. This is the posters I saw. See, so yeah, I saw the uh, fish. I think that says fish. Yeah, fish. Fish poster. Oh, that's a really long one. There's another poster in here. 710 Asbury, 1967. Grateful Dead. So you got some cool... Uh, these are probably... You can probably get these at Walmart. I don't think they're vintage, but... I mean, maybe you buy them online. I don't know if Walmart carries every single band. But man, Grateful Dead really got a, a big comeback the last five to eight years. I would say that. I, growing up, I don't ever remember anyone really talking about them. And then the last couple of years, everyone's all about them. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to me, but that's just kind of how things go in waves and such. Something else that kind of like fashion goes in such waves, especially like vintage fashion and what brands are hot. Harley Davidson t-shirts were so hot like five years ago. Now no one talks about them. Um, it's just weird how things come and go. Uh, it just... I mean, I guess if you like music and you're really passionate about certain bands, you're going to always love them. But uh, in terms of like seeing memorabilia and stuff, it does pop up from time to time. But that's going to wrap it up here. Thanks for tagging along for another Trash Pick episode. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button. It helps me out. helps out the channel grow. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe down below because we're not stopping anytime soon. Thanks for tagging along. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.